back to Pebbles tutorial series. I'm Vikram and in this video I will be talking about how you can install and configure SMTP with Maze Plaza and Magento 2. Before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description which might help you out in setting up or configuring your SMTP with Maze Plaza and Magento 2. Let's begin with Magento. So Magento is one of the popular open source e-commerce system which helps the merchants to manage its shopping cart. It is not only restricted to shopping cart but also provides complete control on the content and the functionality which merchants want on their online store. As we are going to, the, as we are going to configure SMTP with Maze Plaza, let's begin with what are the pre-requirements. So we need a dedicated server where, you, uh, where your Magento setup can run, your Magento application can run, a Magento account for accessing the username and password, a Maze Plaza account where we can download the SMTP plugin and Peppy Post account for uh, SMTP username and password and a final a Magento setup, a proper Magento uh, setup on a server. Let's begin with step one. So uh, if you have not yet installed Magento on the server, you can anytime install by using three links depending on what type of operating system your server has. It can, uh, if you have Ubuntu 18.04, you can use this link for installing Magento 2. If you have CentOS 7, then you can use this link. If you have Magento, if you want to install Magento on Windows, then you can link uh, or install using this link. Once you're done with the installation, all you need to do is log in to uh, the Magento at URL local or slash whatever the admin user you have given while installation. So I have given a uh, snipper bytes and my password. So I will be signing up. So uh, once I have signed up, uh, a normal uh, dashboard will be popped up. So let's once uh, the sign up has been done, now uh, figure out, we need to figure out an SMTP extension that we need to download and use in our Magento. So there are two ways. Once, one, you can uh, directly uh, move on to this link, create a Maze Plaza account, select a SMTP extension, and you can add to cart and similarly place order. So it's in free. You don't need any credit card details or something. Place an order. Once you have placed an order, an email will be triggered uh, to Maze Plaza. You can check the email will be some kind of this. So they provide four to five links where you can directly download the extension. And the second uh, part is once you have downloaded, you just need to unzip that uh, Magento extension to this particular part where your actual Magento setup has been done. In that, there is an app folder. You can directly copy that particular code after unzip to the app folder. Yeah, of course, you will require an permission uh, access that can be an Apache Apache or Nginx Nginx or WW Data, WW Data, whatever your PHP FPM is running on, on the web server. So uh, I think, yeah, so this is one of the uh, one. Once you have logged in, this will be the first page or the dashboard. So it has all the logs that is dashboard, sales, catalog, customers. You can manage each and everything using this. So now let's uh, uh, see how the extension can be integrated in Magento. So the first part is downloading and unzipping it to the path that is where WW Magento app, uh, app and the code is directly moved to that particular folder. And if it's an Nginx path, then if you have, it's custom, then you might be knowing if it's by default an Nginx path, it will be in user, share, Nginx, HTML, and then henceforth. Second part is uh, the Mage Plaza SMTP extension can be downloaded using Composer. So all you need to do is switch to your uh, Magento folder that can be where WW Magento or user Nginx share, uh, user share Nginx HTML Magento or any custom if you have given. And then you need to run Composer as sudo composer require maze plaza slash module SMTP. So usually there will be a warning that sudo is not allowed in Composer. So you can remove and run if your user already has an access to install any module on that particular path. 
and once you have installed then just make sure you upgrade your setup so that the install module is automatically appended to your Magento folder and the second part is to deploy so this statement that is setup static content deploy hyphen f will forcefully deploy your extension on the local host where we, you have just signed it, signed up here signed in here so uh, there's an uh, catch where uh, the both type of installation will not work if you have installed using uh, this step 1.a and you are using again 1.b uh, or 2.b then both will not work if uh, you need to remove one of the step and go with the other one and vice versa so as we have seen this is the dashboard now we need to move to configuration part which will be located in stores configuration in maze plaza then smtp so it's in it's in store configuration so here you can find Mage plus extension and in that SMTP. So now uh, we have successfully installed our SMTP extension uh, in our Magento setup. So once you have clicked on the SMTP, you can find this configuration module in general uh, configuration, SMTP configuration, and similarly you can test by sending an email. So it's a normal setup. You all you need to do is uh, grab your uh, username and password from any SMTP service provider you are using. If you are using Peppy Post, then you can easily move on to settings tab. Log into Peppy Post account, move to settings. Settings in settings, you need to have uh, go to SMTP in, uh, integrations, and in integration, you might find all this info that is SMTP.peppyPost.com has a host port will be 587. Port, uh, protocol will be TLS. So it's an encryption uh, encrypted method of sending an email over the server from server to server. The port uh, we highly recommend to use 587 as a port more secure way of uh, sending an email. So the authentication we need to choose here is login since we will be using a uh, username and password. So username will be uh, your username. I have used mine and password whatever you want to figure out here. You can also set a written path and once you are done, you can test an email by just adding send to. Yeah, but again, uh, we need to configure all this stuff from address. Now, uh, how we can configure a from address for each and every stuff over here that general contact, sale representative, custom customer support or customer custom email custom email to these are all from address that has been set predefined so we need to change that before sending an email so it should be from uh, from a registered domain with your smtp service provider else the mail will be not sent or uh, the smtp service provider server will not accept that email so as we can see uh, this this can be the host port tls and login authentication method once you are done with this now it's time to set up and from address so setting up and from address is easy so uh, these are the from address as we have seen so all we need to do is just move on to the configuration tab uh, and see a store configuration tab in that general so in general you can find a store email address where you can add one or update one So uh, I have set mine uh, account from address over here. So you can accordingly set yours for general context for sales. You can similarly again set your again example.com is by default. Example.com is by default. Similarly, custom email if you want to send, let's suppose you want to send add to cart done at the rate something or more of stuff depends totally depends on you and just save the config file over here now once you have done with the from address configuration and the from domain used in from address is already registered with uh, the smtp service provider 
your emails are ready to deliver uh, using the SMTP service provider pipeline. And by testing an email, you can just find out this response when it is successfully sent to an SMTP service provider's server. Concluding to uh, the tutorial, Magento is one of the best e-commerce, I would say. Uh, it's a catalog management system for merchants who can manage each and everything they want uh, in their online store. Uh, more of uh, signing off from this tutorial. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this. You, might, uh, you can also subscribe to our channel for future uh, updates on products and tutorials. Thank you.